Good evening everybody and welcome back to your channel. This video wants to show you how to run Spark on Kubernetes. Uh, this video will show you the steps and uh, the installation process. So I'll try to keep the video very, very simple using Helm. So let's get st uh, straight into action. Step one, uh, come to the website and download Docker. Uh, if you're using Mac, make sure to download for the Apple's, uh, Apple Silicon chip, right? Uh, if you're using Windows, simply uh, click uh, on this button and the exe file will be downloaded. So step one, go ahead and download uh, Docker on your machine. Once you're done with that, step two, open Docker desktop. You see this icon settings, click on that and navigate to Kubernetes over here. Make sure you enable the checkbox and then click on apply and restart. This will take about you know five to ten minutes and once this is done we can begin the next particular process the next step you have kubernetes and docker desktop make sure to install helm and kubectl on mac it's literally so easy you can just say brew install uh, kubectl and brew install uh, helm this will install both of them and now let's focus on how to get started with spark all right i have some commands here which will make your life a little bit easier so let me collapse this particular window all right, so the first one that we want to see is Helm repo add bitnami and we're going to provide the URL https colon slash slash charts dot bitnami dot com slash bitnami. So we're going to add this repository over here. So I open up my terminal, uh, hopefully the font size. Uh, I'm going to make it a little bigger because I know people watch from phone and and want to make sure the font size is big enough. So you do that and the repository has been added. You can say Helm. Uh, repo list and this will show you that your repository has now been added literally that easy right now you need to install it so we're going to provide the command called helm install spark cluster that's the name that we are giving and this is the repository name so let's fire this guy that's it guys and you got some commands great now what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade this right so here i'm saying I'm setting the service type to be load balancer so that I can access the Spark UI on port 80, right? And then I'm setting the worker to three. Okay, so simply copy this command and then paste it over here. Uh, the settings will be applied. Now here, if you see on the command prompt, they already give you some commands uh, for a sample uh, job that you can submit, okay? So now that you have your, um, you know, Spark UI running on, you know, port 80, right? You can see the workers and you can see the master URL, right? Great, right? Now, the next thing that we need to do is we can start submitting jobs to this. Um, so it's actually fairly, very, very easy. All you need to do is say kubectl exec uh, minus it, minus it stands for terminal mode. We're using the default namespace. And here you can see the URL of the master, right? I simply copy paste it from the browser. And then, you know, the class name that I'm using is r.apache.spark.example.sparkpy. This is an example which basically uh, takes and runs the job and computes the value of pi. And five stands for five iterations, right? And this is the path for the job, right? Uh, so let's do this. You can first start by doing this command, export example jar. So let me, clear this now if you do echo dollar uh, example jar you can see this particular default jar which is there in the container example jar spark example underscore 2.12 hyphen 3.5.1 jar right that's the jar so now we are gonna go inside the pod exact into it and we can and we are submitting the job the spark submit job right so let's do that i pasted the command over here and as you can see, the Spark job has now been submitted. And now what you can do is you can search for the word pi roughly. So control F. And here you can see pi roughly is 3.139830, etc. This one right here. So you basically saw how simple it is uh, to spin up Spark on Kubernetes. And then you can simply submit your Spark jobs to your uh, Kubernetes local cluster. That's all I have for the video. If you have any further question, list your question in the comment window and I'll see you in the next video.